Welcome back everybody to Crusader Kings 2 and my ever continuing attempt to become the High King of Ireland. Last we left off, well, let's go through a brief history, shall we, of where we left off and where we currently stand. The big event that happened last, last episode is that we went to war against Desmond. We had du jure claims over Desmond and we wanted it as part of our territory and so we raised our armies and took it by force since the Earl himself refused to become my vassal. Our numbers proved too strong and we were able to take it from him. Now, he is currently our vassal. We imprisoned him pretty quickly, actually. And after we took it from him, we reinstated him as our vassal. I have been deciding to plot to take the title away from him, um, but I'm thinking that might not happen now. I don't want to necessarily anger him too, too much. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for war again. I want a little bit of peace before that happens. So I'll, I'll think about that afterwards. On the uh, personal family side of things, we had twins, two boys, in fact. Uh, we have both Donok Donashad Makmurshad and Angus Makmurshad. Well, Donashad was named after our father, I believe. And Angus, I don't even know, probably after her wife, husband, father, somewhere along those lines. We also married off our old eldest son to a woman who we have no idea where she came from. She has no family to speak of that we're aware of. Either way, that's where we left off. Now, we do have this little important decision uh, available um, but this is to revoke the County of Desmond. We're gonna hold off on saying yes to this right now I think we'll leave that up there. We'll dismiss this um, Also, let's take a look. I really want to take a look at England uh, momentarily England is currently ruled by William the Conqueror He seems to be doing a quite a decent job at maintaining his territories uh, and it seems to be spreading on the other hand There's a huge disease spreading across Scotland and by the way, I did load up the map just to take a quick look at the world to see what interesting things were happening it's typhoid fever, and it is a huge plague spreading across. I'm nervous. I don't want it to spread over to us. I'm hoping that it doesn't spread over to us, and uh, we'll cross our fingers that it doesn't happen. For now, I'm going to say we're happy with where we are, and we can hit play, and hope to good lord that we get out, uh, that we don't have typhoid fever come over to us. So currently, we have Desmond. We have it as our own. The council... Our half-brother here, he's 50, our chancellor. I'm a little nervous, he's a good chancellor, um, but he is old and up in the ears, and we need to be ready. We don't want him to go into battle, in fact. We need to be ready uh, in case he dies to replace him with somebody who potentially may not be quite good enough to be our chancellor. Uh, our marshal is doing quite a good job, um, as well as a few others. Uh, our steward is off collecting taxes. We'll wait until the year comes to a close before we reassign him. And our spy master is doing just what all spy masters should do and protect his loyal liege. Uh, also, our chaplain is still making good on his promise to hopefully raise our religious relations with the Pope of or the Bishop of Desmond. I just want to take a look here. So he does not like us at all. He's uh, upset by the succession law change, which... Oh, his liege is, is uh, I'm assuming, him. Uh, he likes us decent enough. I'm sorry, he does not like his liege at all. And, uh, in fact, is he part of our, our initial plot? No, he isn't. I wonder if he could be. Can we look... Looks like we only have one person to choose from. And uh, he does not like us enough. He as he likes us, but he and he doesn't like... But he doesn't like Earl of uh, Mershad, but he has uh, his base reluctance that we have to go over. So anytime you want to add somebody... Okay, so anytime you want to add somebody, you have to look why they won't start. They always have a base reluctance to do this kind of thing. And uh, with that, you must keep that in mind. It's always a minus two. So he likes us, but we need other things. Potentially sending him a gift would get him in on it. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I want things, uh, prosperity and peace in our nation currently. In fact, let's see. What can we do here? We can start the, the plotting, but we're not going to do that. Scour the land for a holy man to join my court and advise me on religious matters. We don't need that either. We have a good religious man who's quite good at what he does. In fact, he's really quite good at what he does. He's a scholarly theologian. He's not, uh, he's not fertile or whatnot, but he's still. He's still good. So things all, years of peace are hopefully going to reign. I'm more curious to keep an eye on what happens in England um, and what happens with the sickness. Here comes the sickness, actually, now that I say that. Of course... Now that I say that, it is uh, pressing forward. Uh, my beloved wife, Gunhild, is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce her, introduce it at court. Money, my money is yours, um, 
<laughs> my money is your more money, darling. I get charitable. I'm already charitable. It's like, what, charitable level 3 or something? Vanity is a sin. Let's go to the church instead. And we both gain zealous, which is probably not something we want. We get piety and martial from it, but not necessarily something I want to do. This is my money you're talking about, and I get greedy. Uh, you know, she's a wonderful wife, and I actually like her quite a lot. She did bear us sons, and she's young still, so she's into this whole fashion thing. Let her have her fun, I say. My money is yours. Show off at court. And hopefully this music is playing when you walk into court. In fact, let's take a look at our court. Uh, here. Our court. I want to make sure everybody still likes us. He likes us. Pope. Okay, he likes us more. That's good. He brings in nothing. Noble vassal. Why? Earl of Almond. Let's take a look at the laws, actually. So, feudal taxation. Normal feudal lords are exempt from paying taxes to the liege. However, other arrangements are fairly common, if not well-liked. Interesting. Church taxation is enough. We can actually bump up church taxation slightly more and still get church from him. Hmm. Ah, uh, interesting. I I'll come back to that. In fact, I will come back to that a little bit. And I'm actually curious. Church view on lustful church view, blah, blah, blah. Our piety is keeping him. There's a way to change the laws of religion. There's two types of laws. One where the Pope appoints my bishop, and one where I appoint my bishop. And I'm very curious if that's something I can actually affect now. I thought it would be under laws, but I don't see it here, and I wonder why. I'm very curious as to why. We'll have to worry about that either way. Another time. So years of peace are still reigning. It is August. In fact, let's it is now September. And I should keep an eye on time more often. It is now September, we have the money, let's celebrate and go on our grand hunt. I will find the white stag in celebration for taking Desmond as my own. I'm hoping that it'll work quite nicely. Um, we might even want to make the vassal of Desmond, uh, whatever his name is, uh, Murdoch. Yeah, uh, someone who likes us. Uh, hunting party has cornered a large bear. A small argument amongst the hunters regarding who should kill the bear has nearly turned into a brawl. Just solve it already and I gain a wrath and five prestige. Or give me the bear spear. 75% chance of no effect, 10% chance of 1% martial, 10% chance of getting wounded, 5% chance of the trait maimed, and I gain bloodlust until, uh, for a year, I gain the, I get bloodlust, which gives me two martial and one stewardship. I also, I could get wounded or maimed, which is very, very, very dangerous. Let's try it. Give me it. Ah, I did it! Nothing happened. I didn't get maimed or wounded, and that's going to give me... Uh, I'm going to get Bloodlust. Um, that's excellent. We're a tough soldier, diligent, charitable. Just making sure. So, let's keep an eye on England, like I said. Uh, Alright, well, it looks like he has done a damn good job at maintaining the sight, the sight hounds thirsty for blood this gentle afternoon. That is a fine sport. This is a fine sport, indeed. While chasing an agile deer, my st horse stumbled and broke his leg. Luckily, I was thrown off, but now my horse is in pain. I will end his suffering myself. I'll get minus one prestige. Or, Huntsman, I need you, and I gain Slothful. I'd rather just do it myself and lose oh, lose one prestige intrigue. I'm not very good with intrigue anyway. Oh, well. I'll end it myself. Ah, oh, it was great. We gained ten prestige for that as well. Well worth it in my eyes. It was well worth it. So our counselor is still attempting to fabricate claims, it seems. He has good news. His mission in Desmond was successful. Excellent. So he's, uh, I have filled his ears with poisonous slander and evil rumors about a spiritual leader. Their relation has been thoroughly sabotaged, and I fear that it is going to be anything but good from now on. So uh, the, uh, the Pope in, I mean, the Bishop in Desmond has lost 10%, or t minus 10, uh, with the Pope. Again, this is all very useful to me, because when I do take this, which I will, by the way, it's going to be something I can do. Has founded Conkbar for Munster. Is Conkbar? Hang on. Conkbar is my vassal, and he's my half brother. You're really forming the faction, Conkbar. You want him to become the the duke? I don't think it's gonna fly. Seeing that these guys all really like me, for the most part, I really don't think that's gonna have it. That's gonna happen. I mean, maybe, but I doubt it. 
Conk Bar might be all for it because he'd gain from it, but definitely not Earl Regnavald. He's definitely not gonna at all. So I'm not worried about that. I don't like Earl Regnavald because he's a foreigner, but still, he likes me a ton. He loves me. I am a I am a good man. I wonder why he loves me here. Uh, Gavelkind, Succession, Personal Diplomacy, etc., etc. So he's not going to. So I'm not worried about your plan to throw me, you asshat. I name you a pretender. Conkbar of... Oh, wait. Receives a letter with my reply. Wait. Mer Mershad, I name you a pretender. Conkbar of O'Brien is the true ruler of Munster as recognized by myself and other nobles. What other nobles? Are you kidding me? You're going to try and overthrow me here. You have no members. What are you talking about? Or there will be war. I will not be blackmailed. Get out of here. Really? He declares war, has declared Desmondian war for Conkbar's claim. Conkbar, you... We can call in allies. We can ask the following allies to support us. I pause in the game. King Sven II of Denmark. Call to arms. He says maybe. We're sending it off. Please send troops. We're being attacked here. Your daughter's life is on the line. Meanwhile, I better check my counselor. He better not. Dude. Short reign. The short reign is almost done. You're, he's 50. He's going to die soon. For that, your war will... Your request for war shall be answered. We will take Desmond again, and we will... This time, I will not allow you to have it any longer. Never again will I allow you peace outside of prison. It's not going to happen. Hang on. The following children need a guardian. Donald Mac McLeally. He's a kinsman. Who's his father? Family tree. My nephew. So he's my nephew's child. He's a kinsman. We could send him off to get educated, I guess would be what they want us to do. Um, educate the child. In fact... It will be I who educates the child. Actually, do I really care? We could send him off to my brother. I mean, I could educate him. Educate him. And we can send him off to my brother. Let's take a look. Where am I in this list? Send him to my wife. He'd become a diplomatic man. Potentially useful. How about I educate him in the ways of war? Your kinsman, noble blood, little Donald is being tutored by me himself. Alright, well, anyway, back to war. Dear son-in-law, peace be with you, of course, I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Yes! Alright, Malachi McConkabar claims that he would be a better marshal than Earl Regnavald and petitions that he should be given the title of Marshal of the Duchy of Munster. Interesting. So let's pop open our council, and we'll pop him open at the same time. So he has a 12. Let's take a look at our council member here. Our marshal is no longer there. Why? Okay. Earl Regnavald is our marshal currently. Why is he not there? Open council positions. Interesting. He is now... Well, then you're my new marshal, I guess. What happened in Ormond? He's incapable. Oh, hold up. He's incapable. Due to advanced age, head injury, or other mental disabilities, his character is not fit for any kind of work, and capable rules must... <laughs> must employ our regent. So, who's his regent? Me? I should be taking the regent, but his wife is. Countess Asta of Ormond. Hmm... She does not like me at all, which is actually a huge problem. Um, hmm. Something we'll have to worry about later. We're going to have to actually re... Our marshal is going to train troops, continue to train troops here. And can we raise any more because of that? No, we cannot. So back to unpausing. Huh. We have a lot of wars to take, to take care of right now. Um... When the hot cautery touched the open wound, I could not hold the screen back. I cursed the doctor who only laughed, told me to take it easy and not pick at the wound. I became wounded. 
I got wounded in battle. It's something that's going to happen, um, but it's better than being maimed, but that could be my death. I mean, that's what I'm worried about. 